I'm Ainala Mahaile, principal scientist at ICADA. Over the recent decades, African countries simply copied the centralized breeding approaches of developed countries, but this expensive approach led to the importation of breeds unsuitable to local conditions and disregarded the needs and interests of farmers. An alternative approach is the community-based breeding program, CBBP. This program focuses on indigenous stock and considers farmers' needs and active participation. The approach brings together communities, scientists, private sector and government extension. CBBP are transformative in improving local production, livelihoods, community organization and action, and addressing gender norms. CBBPs are now the preferred breeding strategies for Ethiopian government and the approach has been adopted in many other African countries. Indigenous breeds are already adapted to their local conditions and are less damaging to their environment than imported breeds. Community-based breeding programs uniquely focus on optimizing the hardy traits of indigenous livestock, improving productivity and profitability without undermining resilience and genetic diversity. CBBPs target low-input systems and bring communities together through shared interests. Farmer training, pooling community flow, Scientific support and monitoring are key aspects of the approach, along with strengthening marketing and value chains. In Ethiopia, as many as 10,000 farming households now generate an average of 20% extra income through CBBP, with sheep and goat farming their main family business activity. Additionally, more than 25 national universities have officially incorporated community breeding into their curriculum to meet the demand for better trained breeders. When we were establishing CBBPs, we knew women's involvement was crucial as they managed the sheep and goats. However, their involvement was not as significant as we hoped for, and therefore we began with gender-targeted capacity development and transformative community conversations. But gender norms, as you know, run deep, and thus to maximize women's engagement, we established women-only breeding programs in some villages. We have noticed a marked improvement in their access to technical and managerial skills, finance, agricultural inputs and services. As a result, we see changes in social norms and increased income and other social benefits such as respect from the community and greater involvement in household decision making. Community-based breeding programs combine a focus on indigenous sheep and goats with new breeding techniques and local knowledge to form a basis for transforming livestock production in Africa and beyond. But to make this a reality, there needs to be a shift, especially from farmers. Farmers will need to have a shift in mindset from subsistence production to a more commercial mindset. CBBP cooperatives also need better support from governments to support functionality and sustainability through long-term technical support and research, extension and affordable technologies. Government and private sector need to work together on a farm-to-market strategy including access to inputs, good breeding stock and better market opportunities. Government also needs to establish incentives for the private sector such as tax exemption on inputs for a specific period, access to credit facilities and access to land. So the big question is why invest in CBBP? Because it builds on indigenous livestock and local knowledge and improves livelihood of communities and their resilience.